Okay, in this question we have A, B, C, D given in the question, and they are points on the circle. Now we're trying to find the equation of the perpendicular base sector of A, B, and C, D. Um, the reason we're going to do that is because they have quite important geometrical properties. Let's just look at what happens if we draw them in. So there's the um, bisect, there's A, B, and there's C, D. There's the bisector of C, D, and there's the bisector of A, B. And what we notice is, is that the perpendicular bisectors of these two lines, so the perpendicular bisector of AB and the perpendicular bisector of DC will cross at the centre of the circle. In fact, that is true of any chords, that's the geometrical property of the circle, that if you bisect the chords, okay, then the perpendicular bisectors will intersect at the centre of the circle. So if you're given points on the edge of a circle, you can find the centre of the circle by finding the perpendicular bisectors and then finding out where they intersect. So let's find the per equation of the bisector of AB to start off with. Well the first thing we know is, is we can find the gradient of this line AB and then we can find the midpoint and then we'll be able to find the gradient of this line and then we'll be able to find the equation of that line. So let's find the gradient of the line AB. So the gradient will equal change in y, which is 2, divided by the change in x, which is going to be 8. So that will give you 1 quarter. Um, the midpoint is equal to sum of the two x values. So x1 plus x2, so we've got 1 plus minus 7 over 2. And the y values, um, 9 plus 7 over 2. This comes out as minus 6 over 2, which is minus 3. And this comes out as, what's that, 16 over 2, which is 8. So this is the point minus 3, 8 here. So we found the midpoint of the line AB, and we find the gradient of the line it's on. So therefore, the gradient of the normal to AB, i.e. the perpendicular, will equal minus 1 over this, which will be minus 4. And then we can use our equation of a straight line, y minus y1 equals mx minus x1, to find the equation of the line of the perpendicular bisector of AB. We know it goes through the midpoint, so y1 is 8 and x1 is minus 3, so we get y minus 8 equals, we know the gradient is minus 4, so m is minus 4, times x minus, minus 3, which will give us a plus 3. And we'll, I'll just leave that for now, I'm not going to do any more work than I need to, it only says find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB, so that's all I'm going to do. Now CD. Now I could be quite lazy because I can see quite clearly that it's just x equals 2. But let's go through the process. It's saying you didn't draw a sketch. Now you see the importance of drawing a sketch. So you didn't draw a sketch, what would you do? So let's find the gradient of the line CD. So CD, the gradient, is equal to the change in y, which is 0, over the change in x, which is what's that, 10. So we have a gradient here of 0. And therefore we have the, the perpendicular, it's the normal gradient, 2CD, will have a gradient equal to infinity. Yep, minus 1 over 0 will be infinity. So therefore it's just vertical line. So we now know we have a vertical line. So we want to find a point that the vertical line goes through. Well it must go through the midpoint. So the midpoint, because it's a perpendicular bisector, it cuts it in half. So the midpoint of CD will equal minus 7 plus 3 over 2, comma, and Y values are going to be 1 plus 1 over 2. Surprising enough, that will come out as 1. So the midpoint of this is going to be minus 4 over 2 is minus 2, comma, 1. So we've got a vertical line through the point minus 2. So we know we have the equation that x will equal minus 2. Okay, 
So the equation of this line will be x equals minus 2. So from those two equations, so from x equals minus 2, this equation down here, and the equation that we found up here, we could find the centre of the circle. Well, it's obviously going to be on the line x equals minus 2, so that's quite easy. We need to find the y value. So let's put minus 2 into this equation to find the centre of the circle. So we're going to put minus 2 here into this equation here. So we will get y minus 8 equals minus 4 times minus 2 plus 3. And so therefore, if we work that all out, y minus 8 will equal minus 2 plus 3 is 1 times minus 4 is minus 4. Plus 8, we get y equals 4. So the centre of the circle is at the point minus 2, 4. Let's just run through that, line, that again. We found the equation of this line here, x equals minus 2. So we obviously know the x-coordinate, the centre of the circle, is going to be x equals minus 2. We found the equation of this line... We found the equation this line as y minus 8 equals minus 4x plus 3. And then we found out where these intersect. We substituted that value into there to get the y value, which came out as minus 4 for the centre of the circle. Now, quite simply, we can also find the equation of the circle, because we need to find, to find the equation of the circle, we need to find the radius as well. Similarly, you could find the radius in this question let me just pick a colour that's different to everything else I've got on the page. The radius goes from a point here to a point here. So let's try and draw that there. Now we can find that distance there by looking at the distance between here and here, the x distance. So we've got minus 7 through to minus 2, so we know that distance will be 5. And we know the y distance here is from 1 to 4, that will be 3. So therefore this distance here will be root 34. So reason why it's root 34, 5 squared is 25, plus 3 squared is 9, you get root 34 for your radius. So using what we know about the equation of the circle, we know that the centre is minus 2, 4, we know that radius equals root 34. So using what we know about the equation of the circle, it's going to be x minus minus 2 all squared plus y minus 4 all squared equals root 34 squared, which is 34. If we just tidy that up, we've got the equation of, oops, sorry, of our circle. So let's just review the process as you go to getting the equation of a circle. When you're given at least three points, you only need three points, we're given four in this question, but you don't actually need three. Because you, from three, if you say you just had A, B, and A and D, you could create two perpendicular bisectors, find out where they crossed. So find out the perpendicular bisectors, you do that by finding the midpoint and the gradient of the normal, and then you put the midpoint in as y1 and x1 and the normal in as m for the equation y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. That gives you one equation of a straight line. Then you go through and do the same for the other one. In this case we had a trivial one, x equals minus 2. Say we had done this one here, AD, actually again that would have also been a nice trivial one. Actually BC wouldn't have been. If you draw on BC and draw the line through there, you could find the equation where the two perpendicular bisectors intersect, solve those simultaneous equations, gives you the centre of the circle. Once you have the centre of the circle, you can then use any of the points to find the radius of the circle. And then just use your standard format for the equation of the circle, x minus the x-coordinate to the centre, y minus the y-coordinate to the centre, these all squared equals the radius squared, and that is the equation of a circle.